Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. So my video today is going to be a bit of a travel planning video because approximately 24 hours from now I am taking a flight to Paris. I'm so excited. It's been two over two years since I was last in France. Super, super, super excited. But anyway, I want to share today what I am taking in my carry-on. So when I travel, especially when I travel internationally, I usually will take one checked suitcase, one like rolling carry-on suitcase that I put in the overhead bin, overhead bin, and then also one personal item that I will put under the seat in front of me. So I'm gonna share what I'm taking with for my personal item today. So this is the bag I will be taking, just a big, zipper tote. Um, it's from the brand Kuyana. I love their stuff. Uh, anyway, as you can see, it's, it's pretty, pretty full. So let's dive into this. I want to share what I'm taking with. So actually, I'm going to share a couple things that are actually going to stay in my husband's backpack, just because I don't have space for it. And my husband is a techie dude. He takes care of all of like the techie devices. So he gets all of the tech in his backpack. Um, Got a little pouch here. This just has computer adapters. So we both have Macs um, and these are just European Mac cables. So, you know, we'll obviously take our American Mac chargers and then we'll just do a little swap so that they have the European plugs. My husband will also take with the pouch that has all of the phone accessories, phone chargers, um, and an SD card reader. So I have my SD card reader. I've got my American phone charger, my French phone charger. He's got a French phone charger in here and then he's also still got to put his American phone charger in there. So more cables for hubby. And then finally, he will also take this little pouch which has all of our adapters, um, either like voltage adapters, this is a voltage adapter, or little like, you know, plug adapters. I think I have like three of these these jobbies, like all like US to European. We do actually have a lot of electrical items that already have European plugs with them. So we don't have to use the adapters too much, but like for example, I have a flat iron that has a US plug. It can work on both voltages. Um, so I just need to adapt the little plug. Okay, so that is everything hubby gets to take. Now, in my personal item, obviously I need some reading material. So I have an issue of Harper's. My friend actually ordered a subscription of Harper's for me. That was awesome. And actually the same friend gave me this book, You. So these will be my reading materials for the flight. I really don't wanna be using my computer too much during the flight. You know, our flight is at 6 p.m. So my plan is to get on the plane, get settled, eat, and then try to sleep. I'm just gonna try to conk out for as much of the flight as I possibly can. So I figure if I read, well actually I shouldn't read this. I've seen the whole Netflix season of this. I'm sure if I get into that on the plane, I will just read the book the entire time. Also have a journal. Obviously I need to document my travels. I will also be taking one of my glasses cases with. Um, I'm always either wearing sunglasses or glasses, so I'll just pop the one I'm not wearing into this. I've also got one of these travel pillows. So this little dude has like its own little built-in pouch for it. Uh, this is a Samsonite. I got this at Kohl's and it's kind of got like the like foam. I believe it is. I believe it's a foam with like a microfiber cover. It's pretty smooshy. It feels pretty good. So hopefully this will help my neck while I'm flying. Obviously I need my passport, don't want to forget that. Also I've got this little pouch which has a bunch of stuff in it to just kind of make the flight calm and like if we want to sleep or watch a movie, this is sort of the pouch we go for. So as I said, I don't really plan on having a whole lot of computer time, I want to focus on sleeping. But if my husband and I do decide to watch a movie together, um, we have one of these devices. It's really nifty. It's a little audio splitter. So you plug this end into your audio jack on the computer. And then these five little ports are for headphones. So you can watch a movie together. I don't really love watching, you know, the tiny little screens on the plane. Um, so it's nice if we can watch on like a bigger screen, we can watch it together. We can, you know, share this movie moment together. Um, let's see, we also have two sets of headphones in here. 
And I think we have a few other sets of headphones just kind of floating around everywhere. I've also got a couple eye masks. You know, sometimes the airlines give you these, sometimes not. Um, and then we also have earplugs. Four, four sets of earplugs. We don't need four, but why not? Um, there have been times I have forgotten earplugs when I travel and it's, I really, really am kicking myself. Um, so yeah, between my earplugs and my eye mask, should be able to sleep. And then finally in this, we have a couple little containers of just extra, um, you know, like these little, the little buds, the little covers that go over headphones. Just in case, you know, one of them flies off and we can't find it and because it's, it's not very comfortable putting headphones in without that. Oh, also I've got a big bag of Euro coins from the last time we were there. So I'm sure I'll find something to spend those on in no time. Also, I've got this big pouch. So this is sort of like snacks and tea and comfy stuff for me. So I keep a pair of socks in here. I like to be cozy. I like to be warm when I fly. Um, I also have a pack of these antibacterial wet wipes. Flying is so gross and it's so dirty and I just feel kind of disgusted. Um, so I plan on getting to my seat and just like wiping down the handrails and like the TV area and the little tray table and everything. So these are antibacterial. Um, and then I also have a thing of uh, facial cleansing towelettes. I do plan on washing my face at the airport before I leave, but you know, like perhaps when we're about to land in Paris, I just wanna, just wanna freshen up a little bit. Um, also, I have a little pouch of teas. Um, I've got green tea, raspberry leaf tea. I've got some magnesium drink, like natural calm. I've got sleepy tea in there. I've also got a chocolate bar in here. I gotta make sure I have my, my snackies. Uh, speaking of snacks, I do have some chomps bars. I've got a couple hop and jalapeno beef chomps, some venison beef pepper chomps. Oh look, more earplugs. I've got a little container that has Excedrin migraine in it and ibuprofen just in case. I try not to take medication when I have headaches or migraines, but I do want to be prepared. I also have my little thing of toothpicks. You know, these are mint tea tree flavored toothpicks and then a tiny thing of floss. Let's see what else? Oh, I got some hair ties and some band-aids in there. So that is that for that pouch. Okay, and then finally in my carry-on, I've got my like toiletries and personal items. Um, I like to stop in the bathroom about an hour before we're gonna start boarding or even like half an hour before boarding starts. I like to wash my face, use a facial moisturizer, and then also brush my teeth. So for this, I always take a washcloth with um, just to like dry my face. Cause like drying your face with paper towel isn't always lovely. So I always take a washcloth with. I have my electric toothbrush uh, in its case. And then toiletries, I'm gonna zip through these very quickly. Now, obviously I do need a facial cleanser. So I've just got a little travel container with some face wash in it. And this will be enough to get me through my whole trip. Um, and then for my facial moisturizer, I've actually been making my own, just like a blend of various oils. So that's what this is. I've also got a tube of toothpaste. I've got some hand cream. This is just a little Waleda hand cream. Um, I've got this Bach Rescue Remedy Stress Relief. Um, I don't use this too much for myself. We have the pet version and this totally will conk out our cats. Like if we have to drive with them. I don't know, maybe I'll just take a bunch of that tomorrow. Uh, let's see, I've got some hand sanitizer. Um, I also have my foundation. So also in my little, you know, quart bag of toiletries, I generally put my makeup in it. Um, just cause it's kind of a hassle. Like if your suitcase is lost, you know, I have to go buy toiletries and makeup, whatever. Um, let's see, I've got a little lip balm from Dr. Bronner's. That's a mint one. I have a mascara from Ilia. Love this stuff. That is so good. Um, this is a magnesium, my Gris app, magnesium roll on. This is like, it's kind of, it's got like magnesium in it. And I think it's kind of minty. So like if you get a headache or a migraine, you can put this like on your temples or your neck, whatever. I really, I, I don't get a lot of migraines, but when I do, I just wanna be prepared. Um, I also have a mini of this Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. I have two lipsticks from Ilia. Uh, let's see, Crimson and Clover and Blossom Lady. Crimson and Clover is like a fun red. The other one is just like a neutral pink. 
Eye drops, absolutely necessary for me. I always have that Simulson eye drop brand with me. Uh, this is a mini lip oil, also made by moi. I've also got a Tata Harper mini uh, aromat aromatic irritability treatment. You see, I'm, I really hate flying. I'm really like preparing all the lotions and potions and teas and things to just like chill out and sleep. Um, I've got an eyeliner, just a basic Kevin O'Quan eyeliner. And then this stuff is called menthol de chino. I actually bought this in Ecuador like nine or ten years ago. Just kind of has like a nice minty menthol scent to it. This is great for so many things. Uh, you can use it on your lips, you can use it on bug bites, you can put it like if you've got like a stiff neck, put it on that. You can put it on your temples if you get a headache. I love this stuff. I, I always travel with this. Like even just smelling it is just kind of calming and I love it. All right, and finally, I will be taking with um, my travel tumbler and actually a big stainless steel water bottle too. Um, before we hop on the plane, I will be going to Starbucks and asking them to fill this with hot water. Like I'll buy a tea or something, but then I'll also ask for this to just be filled with hot water. And then my water bottle, obviously I'll fill with water. I want to be nice and hydrated for the flight. Um, and I also just, you know, want to have some extra hot water just cause they, I always read about these horror stories about the water on planes, like the hot water on planes being super, super gross. I don't know. So I like to be prepared. I am, I am nothing if not prepared. So that's what I'm taking in my little personal item carry-on, you know, in the larger carry-on, uh, the little wheelie suitcase, that's going to have a lot of clothes, some shoes, um, my flat iron. I've got a travel steamer in there. I'll put my supplements in there, a few gifty things and so on. So anyway, I do plan to post a bunch of stuff on Instagram during my trip and also take a bunch of video footage. Um, and yeah, do at least one kind of travel vlog. I'm thinking kind of want to do like my top spots in Paris and then just kind of a travel vlog because we will be doing a bit of a road trip in the south of France. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!